Business is booming these days and it's happening cross jurisdictionally. Might happen in a different state. Maybe you're in Florida and your customers are in California. Maybe you do business out of New York and your customers are in Europe. What do you do about a global NDA? What's great is majority of countries do respect contract law the same way we do in the United States. So principles are very, very nice to have equal. And what's on the contract is usually what's gonna control to some extent, if not entirely, but different jurisdictions have a different way of applying and interpreting that. And why this matters is when you have an NDA that is with somebody in another country, whose laws control is gonna come down to what the NDA says. This is one of those time and money saver sections that I talk about. You're gonna to wanna to have the choice of law and venue already listed on your NDA, so you don't have to fight these questions. You don't have to go abroad to find out that you wanna bring it all the way back to the United States to have a court case. That's a lot of time and money, ew. So you save the time and money by saying, this is the law that we're gonna apply from this jurisdiction, which if you're in the United states you're probably going to want to pick the state you're in and you can say where the cases are going to be held we call that venue now just because you might pick california for your choice of law does not mean california is automatically your venue yet can you believe that any of the 50 states here can apply any of the other 50 states laws or other 49 states but you get my point so you want to make sure you clarify i want this law to apply and control and interpret this nda and i want any cases to be heard in this particular location this venue by having that there both parties know no matter where they're located in the world it comes down to what the NDA says is going to be the place and type of law that is applied and that is what will control your NDA.